Hi, my name is Ilma and welcome to my channel. I've been posting Christian blogs 12 straight years every day. Today I'd like to share Exodus 22 verses 9 to 15. Here's the word of God. For every breach of trust, whether it is for an ox, for a donkey, for a sheep, for a cloak, or for any kind of lost thing, of which one says, this is it, the case of both parties shall come before God. The one whom God condemns shall pay double to his neighbor. If a man gives to his neighbor a donkey or an ox or a sheep or any beast to keep safe, and it dies or is injured or is driven away without anyone seeing it, an oath by the Lord shall be between them both to see whether or not he has put his hand to his neighbor's property. The owner shall accept the oath and he shall not make restitution. But if it is stolen from him, he shall make restitution to its owner. It is, if it is torn by beasts, let him bring it as evidence. He shall not make restitution for what has been torn. If a man borrows anything of his neighbor and it is injured or dies, the owner not being with it, he shall make full restitution. If the owner was with it, he shall not make restitution. If it, is, if it was hired, it came for its hiring fee. Exodus 22, 9-15 Here's my, the poem I wrote inspired by those verses. On Borrowing and Lending When one borrows something from someone, it is with care and respect that the borrower handles them. If the borrowed object was damaged by the borrower, just compensation is expected if the damage was intentional. Here's my commentary. In Proverbs 22 verse 7, it says that the borrower is slave to the lender. There is truth to this because when we use someone else's property, we ought to take care of it while we are using it. Some Same goes when we borrow money. We ought to responsibly pay it back. The lender must not enslave the borrower with very high interest rates if they are to honor the laws of the Lord. These laws teach us boundaries and how, we, how to honor other people's possessions. It teaches us to be responsible for those things that do not belong to us and also to honor the oaths and agreements we take. Integrity is key in lending and borrowing. Psalm 37 verse 21 says, The wicked borrows but does not pay back, but the righteous is generous and gives. The word of God is clear that when something is borrowed, it should be paid back. Someone refusing to repay manifests a wicked heart. God wants us to have a generous and giving heart. Reflection. How is it dangerous to lend something to someone wicked and untrustworthy. I think it is wise for us that when we are lending uh, something to someone, it is wise for us to um, make sure that the person that we're lending it to will be trustworthy. If they're not trustworthy, they can damage our goods, they can um, flip-flop or abuse what we have um, and then say that they didn't do it. So when we lend it to somebody without integrity, we are um, crossing the very unsure, unsure, unsure results of what we are getting ourselves into. In other words, um, there is a saying before, when I was still in the Philippines, they say, well, when you're stolen something, half of the time uh, it's because of you. Uh, if some, some people are just reckless. They don't take care of their own stuff. So they're just having it lying down everywhere for other people to take it, especially in the Philippines where our population is the whole, kind of the population itself is in the city itself. So it's important for us to be responsible for our own things and take care of it as well. So in other words, when we lend something to someone, we don't, don't just lend anything to strangers. We 
we know people who we lend things to, or especially when it comes to money. Uh, but also there's a thing in the Bible that says that if it is in your capacity to help somebody, you know, don't expect them, it don't make it look like it's you're lending them something, but you're giving something. It's different. So thanks for watching. I hope you check my website at ilmaars.com for artworks, photographs, and a copy of this blog. Please subscribe to my channel and uh, check over 3,000 videos I've done. Just type on Google or YouTube search. Ilma's Palm Devotional. Have a wonderful day.